As the nearly 50-year-old stretch of I-81 running through Syracuse nears the end of its lifespan, many neighbors nearby wonder what new construction will mean for them. What's going to happen when they start doing those kind of restructions? constructions and tearing down things and how the dust is coming from this side and that would probably be a concern because a lot of people have lots of health issues. Neighbors in the Toomey Abbott Towers apartments on Almond Street are very familiar with the section of I-81 that runs through downtown Syracuse. Many are also curious where the center line of the new route will take 81 through downtown Syracuse and which homes and businesses may soon find themselves in the way. You know, I know it needs to be done, but what's going to happen with us? Are we going to have to move? You know, when are they going to do approval on the project so that we know what, you know, we can plan for? What are they going to do with the people? What, what is going to happen to the neighborhood? Um, what's going to happen when it, part of it is being built and they move some neighbors out? I've been hearing a lot of uh, misinformation, so I decided to come down and just check it out and see what's going on. And I'm still confused. <laughs> The DOT has recommended either a boulevard or viaduct option to replace the current 81 bridge. Officials tonight told residents they would not lose their homes, but no options have officially been ruled out. And for Toomey Abbott Tower neighbors, it's still too early to say if an option would uproot them. Change is always hard, and sometimes we fight it, but it, it could be good. But the transition of it is, could be very painful. Neighbors have until September 2nd to voice their opinions and submit their ideas for the future of 81. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Kelly Cowan.